Concerns over police brutality have been a big topic of conversation over the last six months here in Memphis. And this weekend, those conversations are going beyond state lines. Families who have lost their loved ones at the hands of police gather today outside of 201 Poplar to call for justice for Jalen McKenzie. The 20 year old died in December after being shot by a Memphis police officer. WRG's Ashley Paul joins us live now with more on what they had to say. Ashley. Yes, yeah, Stephanie, well, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation announced back on December 17th that they'd be looking into the case. And since then, the family says they have not heard a word about the investigation. It's a club no parent wants to be a part of. It was the hardest feeling to have to go to the graveyard to visit your child. And Andrew Joseph, whose son died back in 2014, says they don't want any more members which is why he flew here to Memphis from Tampa, Florida, to call for justice for Jalen McKenzie. Here, we're still at step one. We have a mother who's grieving the loss of her son with no answers, no police reports, no videotape. According to the Tennessee Bureau of Investigation, McKenzie and at least two other people were stopped by police in the area of American Way back in December and tried to drive off, ending up here on Cochise Avenue. The three people jumped out of the car and ran in different directions, and police allegedly followed McKenzie to a side street where a shootout took place. McKenzie, whose family says he was visiting Memphis from Atlanta for Christmas break, died in the incident. Right now, we need body footage of the night. There's body, body footage that does exist. We know it exists. We need to see what happened that night. His family says their son was unarmed and they're desperate for answers as to what really happened that night. They say in the last six months, they've heard absolutely nothing. So advocates like Joseph and Vita Abusale, whose nephew Alton Sterling was killed in 2016 in Baton Rouge, are calling on the community to step up and demand change. It's going to happen again and again and again until Memphis stand up. Now, I reached out to MPD and I'm still waiting on a response. Meanwhile, a march for justice for Jalen is scheduled tomorrow at 145 at the Mount Moriah Precinct. It will then conclude with a rally at the American Way Park and it's open to the public. For now, reporting live downtown, I'm Ashley Paul, WREG News Channel 3.